Support CGT, give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome. A Viking Bart here, and here on the channel we teach you how to make money, how to make cryptocurrency. We talk about tech, and we review gadgets and tons of other stuff. And today we're going to have a review. We're going to have a look at. No, not you. It is the Sony DSC RX Mark 7. The RX100 Mark 7. That's why I'm pointing at you, because I'm using it to film all the videos here. So let's have a look at this very nice compact digital camera. So this is what I'm actually looking at when I'm filming all the little videos. We have the RX100 Mark 7 pointed at me and I flipped the screen so I could see myself which is a very handy feature. And of course the sound microphone but let's have a look at the device when it's in our hand so the device itself let's have a look at this one as you can see we got a big camera lens on the front on the side we have our three ports to plug in a 3.5 millimeter jack a usb and an hdmi and we can put on a strap on the other side we got the button zoom in yes the button for the flash and the on the bottom we have the connector and the screen and all the buttons now first of all let's have a look at this this is the location of the memory card and the battery I use a pro version because it's faster because we need that when we're going for 4k or it's just fast enough so no more slow recording or data transfer for me just plug it in the battery itself is a lithium battery of course 1200 filling milliamp and it's a type x the x stands for Professor X, I don't know, it's just the name. That's now how it goes, no it's not. Just click it, click, put the lock on and that's it. Now you can see this screen, it does flip open. advantage of that is so you can see yourself while recording or taking pictures of your mothers which is nice on the top part we have of course the on off button and several switches like this it reveals as a flash to put it back just do it like that let me show you how it looks when it's facing you Ta -da! and also on this device the side button we have a little camera hole to peep which is old school not sure how it works so as you can see we got our screen actually in this little tiny hole which is okay some people will love to use it you just press it down as you can see there are lots of options like in all the cameras the auto mode panorama mode filming slow motion filming and all that stuff turning it on is easy just press the button it comes out we all know how a camera works and then we have the display options of course all the features I had to put the lighting stuff like that and the menus just a flip menu from side to side 
it's lots of things to set like probably too much for the average user but that's why we have auto mode which is nice it records in 4k so you can take pictures in 4k or even film now keep in mind when filming you can only film for like five minutes in 4k because the chips heat up that was me on a previous recording lovely so if you're looking for a camera that you can use to film in 4k nope this is not the answer because you are limited to five minutes before it gets too hot and you need to manually push it again which is not advisable because you're overheating your chips now, if you're looking for a very compact decent camera to take pictures in 4k and to film in just plain HD at 50 frames per second well this is a device that is well known in the market it's one of the best devices it usually wins against the competitors that's also why I chose this we all know Sony is good they make most camera models for our cameras and even smartphones if you have a Samsung an iPhone you'll have a Sony camera inside that's how it is so this was a quick look at the camera that I'm using I really love it it's compact it's heavy but then again it's packed with tons of stuff features chips and camera lenses so do I recommend it? Of course. I use it myself for all the movies, for all the clips. It's expensive. Yes, it is. I paid about uh, 1,200 euro for it. But over time it will go down. This is the Mark 7. Eventually there will be a Mark 8 and so on. It's not because there is a new one called Mark 8 that uh, this one is obsolete. Far from true. I know many people who still use their Mark 5. So... I hope you had a, a nice look at this gadget. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more stuff coming up. So, have a good day. And until next time, bye-bye.